Hey, welcome to Drive Central. Here's where you're going to find out what's happening on Drive this week. Don't forget, you can also keep track of us on slash drive.tv, at drive on Twitter, and facebook.com slash drive TV, and find out what we're doing before even we know about it. It's pretty special. This week on Big Muscle, Mike Musto has a run-in with a 1959 Pontiac Bonneville. It's pretty sweet. Very wide track. Let's take a look. You have to get past the fact that it's not a five or 600 horsepower car and look at the details. You have to look at the dashboard and look at how everything is aircraft inspired. You got to remember, this was 1959. This was the jet age. So everything is kind of airplane related, right? You've got these beautiful toggle switches that you flip down, okay, for your temperature, your heat and whatnot. Um, you know, push buttons for the controls. Not fancy r and Oh, they work. That's even better. That's Big Muscle every Monday on Drive, and on Tuesday this week, Driven is off, but Drive Clean is back for Wednesday, and Larry's talking about touch-ups. You need a little touch-up? Just ask Larry. Let's watch. And one of the most common questions I receive is how to properly touch up your car's paint. In this episode, we'll discuss how to resolve chip damage caused by dings and rocks. Some techniques work better than others, and some professionals and weekend warriors are more precise and patient when it comes to the application. As we can see on the hood of my car, the previous owner should be commended for taking time to touch up the rock chips, but the result wasn't necessarily visually beautiful. Today I'm going to walk you through the methods I'm most comfortable using. The process typically takes a couple of days from start to finish, so patience is required. It involves four steps, assessing, prepping, application, and leveling. That's all coming up today on this episode of Drive Clean. That's Drive Clean every Wednesday, and also on Wednesday, it's Chris Harris on Cars. Chris Harris is off, and on Thursday this week, it's After Drive for a very special podcasty version of After Drive. You wanted to know about Drive? What about Drive? Yes, you asked, and we answered. Let's take a look. So I brought our own theme music to this. Are you allowed to use that? Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, non, it's not commercial. But uh, <laughs> what's with the Jamaican theme? Well, we're drinking, somehow, somebody bought Red Stripe. <laughs> so. <laughs> right, it fits in your, your whole entire palm. Ever been um, to Jamaica? Yeah, I've been. You, have you been to Jamaica? Oh, no, you told me you were on a plane that crashed. Or like oh, my God. Yes, you I was. To, yeah, go ahead. Tell right, the story. Right, I was on a, um, I, <laughs> I was on a, uh, a, a charter flight. That's After Drive every Thursday, and then on Friday, it's another shakedown for the best motorsports opinion, analysis, and attitude you're going to find anywhere on the internet at any price. That's Shakedown with Leo Parente and friends. Yes, on Friday, on Drive, and that's it for Drive Central this week. I'm going to see you guys next week. We'll see what happens then. Probably something amazing. Couldn't tell you what, but it's going to be amazing. Trust me. Trust me and Mike Musto. Who wouldn't trust that guy? He's a trustworthy guy, that's what I'm saying. Honest face, right Ian? Mike Musto has an honest face. Got an honest face. All right, see you guys later.